With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, uh, here in this question it is given that our rod is, is uh, hinged at point P vertically standing upward due to the slight jerk rod starts to come down the angular velocity of a rod just after turning through an angle theta is so hinge is smooth it seems so this is the question that he has given so here we need to find out the value of the uh, sorry the angular velocity of the rod so just after turning uh, through angle theta so if you observe in this particular figure so this rod is uh, hinged at point p so this is uh, vertically standing upward so due to the slight jerk it has moved uh, a little bit so the moved uh, distance uh, the angle made uh, between the moved distance to the original distance is uh, angle theta so this is the length of the rod represented as l and uh, this is the center of mass point uh, com okay so if you consider till the center of mass point uh, we will if you draw this uh, this diagram again with a free body diagram so it look like a triangle so this is the uh, this entire uh, uh, angle uh, this entire side uh, is a capital L and till here till the center of mass point it is L divided by 2 and rest is uh, del L value and the other side is also L divided by 2 only so we can write uh, del L that means change of the length will be equals to L divided by 2 minus L divided by 2 cos theta okay so we can write half into 3 omega square will be equals to mg into del L and uh, half into 3 omega square we can write it as m into L square divided by 3 omega square that will be equals to mg into L divided by 2 of 1 minus cos theta okay so we can simplify this uh, and find the angular velocity uh, omega value the angular velocity omega value will be equals to under root of 3g divided by e sorry under root of 3g divided by l of 1 minus cos theta okay so omega value angular velocity omega value will be equals to 3g divided by l of 1 minus cos theta we can write it as 2 into sin square theta divided by 2 so we have formula for this in the mathematics okay so that is what i have used here so angular velocity omega value will be getting i will be getting as 6 under root of 6g divided by l into sin theta divided by 2 so this is the value of angular velocity that we have got so out of these four options if you observe the option a under root of 6g divided by l into sin theta divided by 2 so this is what the solution that we have got so option a is the correct answer for this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today